hello everyone welcome so in few of our last video we started looking at random variable and then we introduce the concept of expected value or mean which tells us the average value of a random variable in this video we are going to introduce another quantity the variance so basically the variance is a quantity that measures the amount of a spread or the dispersion of probability mass function in some sense it quantifies the amount of randomness that is present let's first of all try to have a sense on this variance let's consider these two probabilities mass function and also let's assume that these two probabilities mass function have the same expected value or the mean the difference between the first probability mass function and the second probability mass function is that the second probability mass function is more spread out than this first probability mass function any other observation you can give let me give it to you so if you observe any typical outcome in case of first or second pmf let's first fo first focus on this second pmf so any typical outcome and what do i mean by any typical outcome so maybe random variable will be taking this value or maybe this value or maybe this value or maybe this or this or this any of value uh, can be taken by the random variable right so any typical outcome let's say we carry out the experiment and random variable took this value let's say x maybe 6 capital x is equals to uh, x6 so now if you try to look at this distance that is from the mean to this particular outcome that is x6 that is random variable is taking the value x6 right so this x6 minus mu that could be possibility right because this is the random quantity right this uh, this could be anything this could be depending on the experiment of the outcome this could be maybe this one this one or this one or this one or this one or maybe this one right so i have just uh, taken a, a specific outcome let's say we carry out the experiment and random variable is taking this value after the experiment right so if you look at this distance or maybe we can also have this case also right we carry out the experiment and maybe random variable uh, took this value that is x4 so then we will what will be the distance so we will be we will say that this will be distance that is x4 minus mu so in general random variable can take any value if i have to write the distance and from this mean so this will be the distance right and this could be any value maybe this x1 or x2 maybe x3 x4 x5 x6 and this is the expected value this is the first point uh, uh, let's keep this in your mind and now let's look at the first pmf right and again the same case could be also there this is this will be again a result uh, a pmf of some kind of experiment and uh, we will have or uh, any of the outcome maybe this one or this one or this one or this one so random variable can take the value this one or this one or this one or this one right so if we talk here also about the distance and what we are saying the distance so the we are saying the distance between this mean value and any typical outcome right so here if you look at this x minus mu so what i am saying is that in case of second probability mass function the distance will have or the distance tend to have a larger distance than this first pmf why it is obvious why because the second pmf is 
more spread out than this first PMF. More spread out means, you see, these are the points that random variable can take, right? For this particular uh, PMF, these these are the values that random variable can take. But if you see, in case of when your distribution is more spread out, then look at this. The random variable can take the values that is more than what the random variable can take the value in case of first PMF. Right now, if we try to calculate the distance and how we are defining the distance is the difference between the expected value and whatever the random variable is taking the value will tend to have more distance if the distribution is more spread out than the other distribution. Right. And also you see that um, this value de depends on the experiment of the outcome, right? Because this is the random variable and it can can take any of the value depending on the outcome of the experiment. So overall what I am saying that this distance is a random variable is also a random variable, right? And it values is determined once we know the outcome of the experiment and the value of the random variable. So what we can say about the distance from the mean? So by asking this question that what we can say about the distances from the mean, what I am asking, because you see how, how, uh, what, what, what is the expected value? What is the expectation? So without carrying out the experiment for n number of trials, we are estimating some value. That is what we are saying. It is a expected value. We are estimating the average value of a random variable right and by asking this question that what we can say about the distance from the mean what do i mean what do i mean by asking this question is that i am asking about the average value or the expected value of this particular distance of this not the particular distance but average value of these distance and how we can find the average value of a random variable by taking the expectation or by taking the expected value of this random variable. So now we will be calculating the expected value of this random variable that is X minus mu. So let's try to, so basically what we are measuring here. So we talked about the variance. So variance, we say that it is nothing but the major of the spread of the PMF. So we are anyhow, we are measuring the spread of the PMF, right? By, by calculating the distance and by taking the, or not taking, but estimating this, uh, distance, we are measuring the spread of the uh, probability mass function, right? Now, if, if we have to talk about the on an average value of this distance, what we can do, we can calculate the expected value of this random variable that is X minus mu. And we can make use of the linearity property. And from here, what we can write that will be the expected value of this random variable X minus this expected value of mu or constant right so that will be expected value of this random variable x is mu and expected value of a constant will be same that is mu and that will give you zero right so you see this distance that we are calculating will always be zero and in terms of mathematics that is not useful right because this is not informative to us, right? Because if you try what you are trying to do, you are trying to calculate the expected value of a distance, right? And we have already talked about all this distance, what is distance and everything. So I'm not ag again repeating the same thing, but what we are trying to do, we are calculate trying to calculate the expected value of a distance. But as we, s as you can see, the expected value turns out to be zero. So mathematically, this is not 
an informative thing so what we can do here instead of calculating the expected value we try to calculate the square distance from the mean so instead of calculating this so what we are going to do we are going to calculate the square distance from the mean and this is what we call is the variance the point is that this is more mathematical behaved object than this one right because this is nothing adding informative right because whenever you will try to calculate the expected value of this distance from the mean you will always get zero so you will nothing fetch out something informative if you calculate this so instead of calculating this if we want to have something informative like uh, if we want to have some sense of the spread of the distribution instead of calculating this what we try to do we calculate the square distance from the mean right and this is what we call the variance now if you see what we are doing is we are calculating the expected value of some function right and if you see this is square right so this value will be always greater than 0 and we have seen that from our last video that on the properties of the expectation from there what we conclude that the variance is always non-negative and how we can calculate let's try to calculate this so what we want to calculate is the expected value of this function we can make use of expected value rule that we have looked in our previous videos so what we want to do is we want to calculate the expected value of this particular function gx and if you look at here gx is nothing but x minus mu whole square by using expected value rule we can write this one like this so if you look at here what we are trying to do so let's keep this uh, in your mind this pmf in your mind so what we are trying to do here so we are running over all the rand uh, all the values that random variable can take right and for all those we what we are finding is the square distance so for this particular pmf what what will be all those value so all those vi vi value will be this value this di square distance or this 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 square distance right so for because we are going through each and every random variable that uh, values that uh, random variable can take right and we are calculating the square distance and what we are doing is that uh, for each random variable uh, we are multiplying this quantity with the corresponding probabilities right for each random variable and at the end we are summing up right so this is what that will give you the variance of a random variable right so one more point to note here that so let's say uh, we have here random variable that is in meter and if you try to calculate the expected value of the square distance from the mean then you will get the unit as a meter square right so 
the interpretation of the measure of the spreadness if we talk in terms of the variance then you can say it has the wrong unit right because what we are talking the random variable in terms of meter and if we are talking about their measure of a spreadness then we also should talk about in terms of meter itself right and for that what we have done we have defined another term that what we call is the standard deviation standard deviation and we denote it is a sigma of for the random variable x and it is nothing but the square root of the variance right now we can say that this standard deviation will have the same unit as the random variable right so it has the same unit as the random variable and it captures the width of the distribution